Commission on Decolonization Director Ed Alvarez is hoping the United Nations will take a serious look at the frustration that Guam and other non-self-governing territories share. For more than two decades, the territories have been pushing for self-governance. During a recent trip to the St. Vincent Islands in the Caribbean, Alvarez made a pitch for what he believes will result in actual change. We're in our third decade of this movement. And to me, the, the, the one thing I took away from it, which was my idea, was we all need to form a coalition. And we all need to devise a marketing plan that will give us the attention nationally, where we reside at, and globally. On Wednesday, Guam time, Alvarez will speak before the United Nations on behalf of Governor Eddie Calvo in New York to discuss the island's ongoing effort to hold a plebiscite on Guam's political status. Alvarez and the Calvo administration had been hopeful a plebiscite would be a reality in 2012, but he admits that Guam's vote for statehood, free association, or independence likely won't happen then. This is a very uh, important and historical event, and we have been colonized for so, so many years. It's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, and I think, I think it, we, we all know it's going, to be t it's going to take a little longer. I would prefer it happen in 2013 at the earliest. That way it's not, you know, inclusive of any election, whether it's senatorial or gubernatorial. But Alvarez has been a one-man band with no office and no staff. The administration and its biennial budget has sought $250,000 for the commission that's been defunct for several years. The executive director is hopeful lawmakers will fund staff and resources for the new fiscal year so that the education campaign component can begin. As he says, each of the task forces have done their part in already preparing the materials. Alvarez stresses that Chamorro self-determination is something that was given by the United States and the United Nations. So all those people that have come here you know, from the other countries as well, they've been sovereign already. Their political status is, is determined. But we here on Guam have not exercised that. The people of this, ter this, this territory, mm -hmm. the Chamorro people, they haven't. The organic act that governs them now was not born out of their mouths. They didn't have a chance to express how they feel. Alvarez stresses that after the choice is made by the Chamorro people, then everyone on the island will be able to participate in both the ratification and passage of the island's constitution. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Mindy Egan.